What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I'm going to tell you all how much I paid for my 2022 Rapid Blue ZL1 Camaro. So I took delivery of it a couple weeks ago. I haven't driven it much, unfortunately, due to all this white stuff around me. Don't have the tires yet. And I just sold those, actually, so tires are sold. But I've uh, been driving the Blazer around. Haven't been wanting to drive the Camaro too much or the Mustang. I haven't driven either one of the cars, really. They've just been sitting here clean. But in today's video, I'm about to tell you how much I paid plus the insurance costs. And I got a couple insurance options, too, that I'm going to get to. So sit back, relax. Let's jump into today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Browse the channel. Let's jump into it. And now, a word from today's sponsor, Drew. Does your skin get dry in the winter, causing ashiness like the ash on Q's hands? No worries. Be like Q. Fix that ash with the hair and body butter from Drew. It's enriched with raw organic shea butter, mango butter, along with other natural plant-based oils. It deeply moisturizes dry skin and nourishes locks and natural hair. It can also be used as a beard butter. Take 15% off with discount code chaotic. The link is in the description below. All right, first let me get these cars moved around so I can get to the Camaro. I've been driving the Blazer like I just said, so let me get these cars moved. And now on to the Camaro. It's probably not gonna be a cold start because I did start it up a couple hours ago. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing pulled out so we can see it. Not even this car. That's the Mustang. Oops. So, what happens? We got all these keys. Too many keys. All right. Let's hear it for the ZL1. Not all that loud. But let's get pulled out here so we can actually see. So let's go over the options on this car. So the first option that I got on here, and this is a must have. This is the hottest option that you can get on the ZL1. $1,700 option, and that's the gas guzzler tax. No way around it. If you buy one of these, you suck for the environment. $1,700 penalty gas guzzler tax. So that's added to the MSRP, and that's your first option. So the next option that I had to have, and you can kind of see it now, is the sunroof and that sunroof was i believe 995 dollars let me see yep 995 dollars for the power sunroof and that's something that i also wanted um i actually really enjoy sunroofs my kids love the sunroof they just like to look at the sky as i'm driving i like it because like right now the camaro is kind of tight and dark and smallish on the inside and it's dark in here so having the sunroof brightens things up and you can see a lot of nice features on the inside like all this alcantara over here the the red stitching like a lot of the accents stand out with the extra lighting in here and then like i can have my sunroof wide open too actually i don't know i haven't opened it not about to do it right now because it's not even 20 degrees so that's the second option that i got 995 dollars so the next option that i got and i feel like it's a must have on every zl1 and that's a carbon fiber weaved hood insert. So let me show you all what it looks like out here. I gotta get out my cold car to show you all this. But yeah, I, I feel like this really makes the ZL1. This is an option that the ZL1 only gets. It's a very nice touch. And that is this right here. Hopefully you can see it because it's not even sunny today. Maybe I'll just show another clip of it. from a sunny day but 
This looks really nice. So another option that I had to have, I wouldn't have got the car without this. And this is zero dollars. That's the six speed manual transmission. I would not have gotten this car without the manual. The 10 speed is faster, but I'm not at a point where I want to drive an automatic. Like, yeah, they're faster, but it's about the enjoyment of the car. And this car is definitely really fun in the manual transmission. So the next option on the list is this carbon fiber on the dashboard. Let me see what that thing is called. It's called interior trim carbon fiber. So this is the second Camaro I ordered. I ordered my first Camaro on a Friday and this Camaro on a Monday. I didn't order this option on the first Camaro because I didn't know that this was even an option. I saw another Camaro with this. I'm like, oh, what's that? I'm like, I didn't know I could get that. Because on my GT350, and the owner swears up and down that I have a carbon fiber dash. I don't. It's fully loaded minus that. I'm like, I want that in the Camaro. So I ordered that. And this is what it looks like. It is a very nice touch. It's only on the passenger side. It doesn't go over to the driver's side. But it just looks so good to me. Carbon fiber on the dash. Man, this glare sucks. But yeah, that's it right here on the dash. Definitely makes the interior stand out. This is a very nice interior, by the way. Like with the seats and all that. But those are like standard seats with a ZL1. Oh yeah, that option was $500. So the next option, which was also a must have for me on this Camaro, especially since I had another Camaro, I wasn't even thinking about a ZL1 like this, but until I saw this color, the Rapid Blue, $395, I had to. This was a must have. Like I, I don't even know what other color I would've got, but once I saw this rapid blue color, I had to have it. And I placed an order shortly after learning that this was official. So shout out to Anthony, Blueprint 1LE for that. Cause I didn't even know this was a thing. He got footage of it at the Dream Cruise. I'm like, man, this, pardon all this snow, man. This, I can't even drive the car with all this snow out here. Like this is me doing the driveway. I can't even get in the street cause it's snow in the street. But yeah. This color is just, it reminds me of Grabber Blue from Ford. It's just a very pretty, very bright. This car stands out so much. It is just such a pretty color. Love this color. So this was a must have for me, Rapid Blue. So this next option is an option that I had on my other Camaro. And I thought it was just a nice subtle touch. And it's the carbon fiber insert gas door. So it's not a lot of carbon fiber to it, but I like this carbon fiber. It's a nice little touch. And this option, this is also something else I added from my to my second order that wasn't on the first. And this was $290. It's a little frigid today. Let me turn this car on. It's cold out here. Y'all see that? And the final option that I had. $195 is the red seat belt. Like that is also a very nice touch. It's also somewhat subtle. Matches, uh, I guess, some of the accents. Yeah, the red stitching, it's a nice touch. The back seat gets them too. So, red seat belts. So that wraps up all the options I have. Now that it's being the ZL1, like it has a lot of other features that come standard, like the ambient lighting it basically has the two ss features like ambient lighting i get this digital rear view camera i get heated and cool seats i get a heated steering wheel about to turn that on now just to keep my hands warm so it is it's pretty much loaded an option that i didn't get was pdr i had that on my last camaro but i it's not worth the 1400 dollars to me i'll just use my gopro and my camera for that but if you go to the track a lot, it is worth it. I just didn't want to. It's, it's quite expensive, and I didn't use it that much on my last Camaro. I just used it to get other angles for YouTube videos, which I wasn't even monetized for, so it didn't even pay it back. So I didn't get that on this Camaro. So looking at this window sticker, the MSRP, the grand total is $68,870. And as you know, in this time, 
cars are marked up like very high. That's why I decided to order this vehicle. Because uh, a couple of videos ago, there's a, another dealership in this area for a base ZL1 with the automatic transmission. They wanted 82,000 for that. I didn't pay anywhere near that. So let's get into these numbers on what I did pay and any discounts and anything and then I'll jump into the insurance so let me pull out the the paperwork all right let's get into these numbers the MSRP $68,870 before taxes and any fees that's what's on the sticker and the base price for the ZL1 with no options just ZL1 with a manual transmission that's $63,000 the way mine is spec'd out $68,870 so let me go to these line by line items so I got to use the employee discount the GM employee discount so shout out to my uncle for that so I got a discount of four thousand eight hundred forty one dollars and thirty two cents so now let me go to all these fees that are on here so that night that knocked the price down from the uh, sixty eight thousand eight hundred seventy dollars to sixty four thousand twenty eight dollars and sixty eight cents then there was a, a dock fee of $230, a title fee of $16, a new plate fee, and this plate will last me until next year on my birthday. That is $541. Um, the total for taxes on this car was $3,856.96. Another fee, electronic filing fee $24 and that brought the total to uh, actually I don't know why they put this line first I actually got a rebate in this time so the rebate was for $750 that's just financing the Camaro and that goes for finance through GM Financial outside of GM Financial and I believe on leasing the Camaro so the month of I got January's rebate so that was $750 so the grand total that I paid for the Camaro is $67,946.64, which is like $900, $900 cheaper than MSRP. So I think I made out quite well, especially the uh, dealing with the current circumstances of these marked up vehicles. So... I didn't get as many rebates as my other Camaro. I got like four or five thousand dollars in rebates on my other Camaro. But since there's a shortage in vehicles right now, especially new vehicles, that that's what the rebates are. And I'm shocked I got seven hundred and fifty dollars off on that too. Oh yeah, small tip. If you have a Costco membership, I'm mad that my car wasn't delivered in December, but Costco was giving an extra thousand dollars off if you purchase a new car. Just like go to Costco's website if you're already a member and just it was something you could have clicked on but it ended january 3rd and i'm so mad i could have saved the extra thousand dollars on here but be on the lookout for costco i'm pretty sure sam's club might do the same thing just a little tidbit to save you a little bit more money when you purchase these cars all right so before we jump into the financing i want to give you all a heads up if you do get that employee discount or a supplier discount friend and family discount GM pulled something that I haven't seen before and my cousin actually gave me a tip to this because I was looking at buying something from her dealership but if you don't go with the dealership's financing they can and in my case they did refuse the employee discount so I I brought my own financing to the closing because like GM they get kickbacks or the dealerships they get kickbacks from their lenders for using them for me, with my financing, I get kickbacks in the form of a dividend at the end of the year for using my financial company, but I couldn't do that or I would have paid that extra $4,800, which wouldn't have been worth it. So I had to bite the bullet and go with the financing that they had at the dealership, which turned out to be okay because they had the same rate and I can refinance the vehicle. I'm, I'm in the process of that now. I'm looking into refinancing the vehicle with my bank so they'll pay off this loan that i have now and they will put it in their name so i still get my kickbacks the dealership got their kickback everybody's happy i just have to do more paperwork okay financing so for me 
the amount of money that I had to put down, zero dollars. I never have to put money down. For me, that's the point of having good credit so you don't have to put money down. And I know the financial warriors would be like, oh, you should put money down, saves on interest. But there's other vehicles that can make up for that loss of interest. And I'll get into the interest rate, like the, in the stock market. If I invest whatever money I put down in the stock market, I can uh, make a better return in an upward market than I can for the loss of whatever the interest I'm paying. Because the stock market averages six or seven, six, seven, eight percent per year on average for a return. So that's the philosophy that I use. So thank you in advance for the financial advice, but I'm, I'm good on that. So here is my financial situation. Like I'm saying, zero dollars down. I didn't pay anything out of pocket. And the deposit that I put down, I got that refunded to my credit card that I put it on as well. So that was a thousand dollars. I got that refunded back to that card. So I financed this car for 84 months and the interest rate that I got was 2.74, which is extremely low. So it's, it's close to free money. And the monthly payments on here will be $889.79. So that's the monthly payments on here. Yeah, with the interest rate that low, like why not? All right, so almost $900 a month to finance this car for 84 months. Low interest rate for a long term. I was shocked it was that low for that length of time. So let's jump into the monthly payment for insurance. So for insurance, that will be $210 a month. So my GT350 is like $150, $160 a month. This ZL1 initially with the company that I'm with is $210 a month. I personally don't like that payment, so I'm shopping around for it. And uh, actually, as I was making this video, I got a call from another insurance company, but I'll do that quote tomorrow. So I got to do my homework on that to save on that end. Uh, an option that I do have is to get classic car insurance. So with classic car insurance, the ZL1 qualifies, the GC350 qualifies, and I can put my other two cars on that plan as well. So with that, I can drive these cars for pleasure. Now, if I happen to go to a restaurant, somebody steals my tires there, or a bar or something, somebody steals my tires, they're not gonna pay for that because they don't consider that a pleasure. So I don't, I don't know, but for that quote that I got, I can pay $700 for the year for the ZL1 and the GT350, which is like, uh, let me see how much that would be. 700 for the year. Let me do my math. Tell you all what it would be per month. It's like $62 a month for both cars. Financially, that makes a lot of sense to do, but I just need the peace of mind, so I'm going to shop around. I might come back around to it, but $700 for the year, that's very nice. So I don't know what I'm going to do right now. So going with classic car insurance, I can pay $700 for the year, and that is much cheaper. But I kind of want the peace of mind of just having it as a regular car on my insurance policy. So I don't, I don't want to get a claim to get denied if something should happen so I just need that peace of mind it's kind of it's a warranty for me so that's what I paid for my ZL1 so it definitely helps to order as opposed to dealing with this craziness in this market right now so I was if you're patient enough just order it like you'll save because that dealer markup is insane like I've seen I've seen SS1LEs go as high as 60000 in this market, and that is crazy to me. It's Just order the vehicle if you don't mind waiting, but if you got to get out there, like, hey, even used ones are still going for, like, mid-60s, low-70s for, like, low mileage examples. Even the older ones are going for, like, 60 k plus. Like, I put one in another video. It was an SS1LE. But it had like a lot of damage to it from a former accident and it wasn't worth it for me. So this is the instant where you go brand new and then the interest rates are lower on new vehicles as well. So that's it and that's all for this one. This is pretty much a walk around all the options that I got on my ZL1. 
what I pay, monthly payments, insurance, and my options to go from here with the financing. So I have a small window to uh, change my financing for the ZL1 itself. I have to do that before that window closes, which may or may not be 30 days. I got to call the financing company who I have the car financed through. And it wasn't GM Financial, surprisingly. I thought since the dealership was making me use their financing to get the employee discount, that it would be GM Financial, but it wasn't. I think it was like Capital One or something like that, which I already have an account with for another credit card or a line of credit. But yeah, they I had to do that to get that 4800 So definitely worth that 4800 employee discount that I got. But now I have to do extra work that I didn't want to do. I could have just saved this time, but that's what the market is. And when Nate told me that, he was like, whoa, we got a, uh, somebody threw a wrench in our operation. I'm like, uh-oh, what is it? But he told me that. And I'm glad my cousin brought that to my attention beforehand because I would have been like, whoa, I feel like I'm getting ripped off. I probably still would have went ahead with it. But I really didn't like that, but I'm glad my cousin told me that first as opposed to Nate because I really, really didn't like that at all. But the dealerships, they got to do what they got to do, get their kickbacks to make their money because they are hurting right now. So that's what it is. So that's going to be it for today's video. I'm about to pull this thing back in the garage and wait for a warm day for the snow to get off my street so I can drive this thing and the Mustang. I, haven't, I can drive the Mustang so I got winter tires on it. But it's so clean right now. I want to get that thing dirty. Y'all see that? Both of my cars clean. My cars will never be this clean. But yeah, back to the garage. Got uh, 130 miles on the car. Haven't driven it in like... I don't even remember. The last video I made with Anthony, which was like a week ago almost. So back to the garage until warmer days or I'll find some tires somewhere. If I, I'm probably not going to get the tires though. All right, so that's all I got for you all for today's video. Don't forget to like, drop a comment, hit the bell on the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm Q, checking out, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.